Now for this we're given that y equals all of 1 plus e to the 2x raised to the power 3 over 2. And we've got to find the value then of dy by dx when x equals a half natural log 3. So to do this obviously we've got to find dy by dx. So let's go in and try and get dy by dx then. Now to find dy by dx we've got what's called a composite function. We're going to need to use the chain rule here. Chain rule, hopefully you're familiar with that. Let's just quickly remind you if you've got problems. Basically if you're going to find dy by dx it's the same as dy by d something multiplied by the same d something by dx. And those d somethings can be anything you like as long as they're exactly the same. It's as if they cancel out and you get dy over dx. Well I'm going to call those d somethings dt for this example. Okay, And so this is called the chain rule. And if you're unfamiliar with that, go on my website and you'll find some tutorials under the chain rule. Okay, so how does this work? Well, essentially, okay, what we're going to do is think of this as y equals, and instead of 1 plus e to the 2x, it's just going to be t, t to the power 3 over 2, where t is the 1 plus e to the 2x, 1 plus e to the 2x, okay? So when it comes to differentiating this, we'll do it straight off. I think of this as y equals t to the power 3 over 2, and I've got to get dy by dt. y equals t to the power 3 over 2, so differentiating that in the normal way will give me 3 over 2 times t to the power, and I have to subtract 1 from the power, that's going to be to the power half. The only thing is, I'm not going to write that t there. I know I've written it here now, but normally I wouldn't. I'd remember that t was 1 plus e to the 2x. So basically, I would write 1 plus e to the 2x all to the power a half. So that part is basically dy by dt. Now I've got to multiply it by dt dx. Well, t is the 1 plus e to the 2x, so I need to differentiate this with respect to x. Differentiate 1, it goes to 0. Differentiate e to the 2x, you should know, is e to the 2x times 2, again by the chain rule. So that comes to 2e to the 2x. So hopefully you're okay with that. All I need to do now is just clean this up, and I can notice that the 2 here cancels out with that 2 there. And what have we got? Well, I'd like to write the e to the 2x with the 3 and get that as 3e to the power 2x and then multiply by 1 plus e to the 2x all to the power a half. Okay, well, that's dy by dx. Now, what we need to do is get the value then of dy by dx when x equals a half natural log 3. So I've just got to substitute this in to here. So let's just say that when x equals a half natural log 3, we can substitute it into here. Now, you might want to just put that in there, use your calculator, and get the exact value. Or, you might want to do it without a calculator. I leave it totally up to you. But I'm going to show you how you do it without a calculator. Okay? So if we we're doing this, we would get dy by dx equals 3 times e to the, well, it's going to be 2 times x, 2 times this quantity, which is just going to be the natural log of 3. Then we've got the brackets. 1 plus e to the power 2x. Well, again, 2x is going to be just natural log of 3. And then this is all to the power half. Now, you should know a common result here. You should know, and we'll just write it down for you, that 
If you have e to the natural log of x, the standard result is simply x. One being the inverse of the other, basically. Try it on the calculator if you're unsure of that. Do say e to the natural log of 3 and you should find you get 3. OK, well knowing that result, which as I say you should know without using a calculator to check it out, what that's going to mean is we've got 3 here multiplied by essentially 3. And then for this bracket we've got 1 plus 3 and that's the power half. Well, 3 times 3 is 9 and we've got 1 plus 3 which is 4, 4 to the power half, half meaning the square root of 4 which we know is 2. So at the end of the day 9 times 2 is 18. So that's just showing you the breakdown if you didn't have a calculator and what you should know. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this question.